Welcome to my super short film of fly fishing Alaska for silver salmon. Now to be honest with you, we really thought this was gonna be a slam dunk. We thought we were just gonna walk right into salmon, walk over these little pods of salmon that there would be. We thought that the salmon would be all over the place. We really didn't know anything about so it. So we checked in a lodge and drove out to this remote location where we could start fly fishing for salmon. The thing is, we didn't really know where the salmon were or what even to look for to see if the salmon were in the river. Now one treacherous part about walking in the wilderness is not necessarily the bears, but it's these big potholes that could just catch you off guard and trip you up. This is a good friend of mine, his name's Paul, and he got tripped up many, many times as I was filming him on the drone uh, into our spot. So it's not as easy as it looks just walking around in the bog looking for salmon, but we spent the first day catching basically no fish because we we're fishing and fishing and we had no idea what to look for. So we we're just fishing water that didn't even have any fish. But luckily the next day we were able to hire a charter to actually fly us out to some of these remote rivers that I can't even, to be honest, I can't even remember the names. I can't even tell you the names of these rivers. Not only can I not pronounce them, but I just forgot what they were. But this plane flew us about 400 feet off the ground and we were just amazed at, at how close some of these rivers were to the ocean. So we landed on this remote beach, just literally out in the middle of nowhere. It's about a 35 minute plane ride. There's this little tiny landing strip, which at low tide, we were able to get in there in this coastal stream and fish for salmon that were literally fresh out of the ocean. No more than a few hours or a few minutes right out of the ocean. They had sea lice on them and we were able to catch some really cool fish. As soon as this plane took off, we realized we were in grizzly country. Now being in grizzly country just is not very good for the nerves. So we quickly got to fishing just so that we can distract ourselves from the environment that we're in. And honestly, those grizzly tracks were absolutely massive. So we, what we ended up doing is we ended up walking up river and casting and walking up river. Some of the guys were fishing with gear, which is a lot easier, trust me, than fly fishing. Fly fishing is so difficult because you have to cast a lot. I mean, look how wide this river is. You have to do a ton of casting and you're just kind of blind casting because you don't really know where the fish are. So we progressed our way up more and more on the river and started casting. And as soon as we figured out where the fish were, it was just absolutely game on.
Just come in the club.